Today, I'm going to show you a few ways to play PC VR games on your Oculus Quest 2. Hi guys, my name is Tony and welcome back to Jackal Dude Gaming. Here I like to have fun in VR, but I love helping you have fun there too. So you got yourself a Quest 2 and you've probably played some of the best games the Quest Store has to offer and you're ready to move on to PC VR. Well, in this video, I'm gonna show you exactly what you need and how to set it all up on your Quest 2. First, we're gonna talk about what you need. Now, this should come as no surprise, but you're going to need a PC capable of running PC VR games. Now, if you don't know if your PC is capable of doing that, you can go to Steam and run their Steam VR performance test. This will run a short test and then give you a detailed report on whether or not your PC is VR ready or not. Now, if that all checks out, you'll need to download Oculus on your PC. Make sure that's up to date and that your Quest 2 is up to date. And you'll probably also want to download Steam VR, as you're probably going to be playing some Steam VR games too. Now, if you want to play PC VR wirelessly, you're going to need a router capable of a 5 GHz connection to use Oculus's AirLink. Alternatively, you can have a wired connection using a long USB type C cable to use Oculus Link. I will have links to both my router and the link cable I use in the description below. Those are Amazon affiliate links, so just clicking them helps support the channel. Thanks. Now towards the end of the video, we'll talk about whether a wireless or wired connection is better for you and the drawbacks and benefits of both. First, let's go over a wireless connection as being wireless is something you're probably used to. First, you're going to open up Oculus on your PC. You're gonna to go to the settings tab, then you're gonna go over to the beta tab. There you should see AirLink. It is by default turned off. Turn it on so that little switch is blue. And remember, this will turn off every 24 hours. Actually, it'll turn off anytime your PC is off. So basically, just always expect to come turn this on before you use AirLink. Now to use AirLink, like I said before, you're going to need a wireless router capable of 5 gigahertz connection, but you are going to want that Wi-Fi router connected to your PC using an Ethernet cable. This is important because if your PC is connected wirelessly and your headset's connected wirelessly to the router, you're going to experience some latency. Also, you're going to want to make sure that you are playing in the same room as your router, as line of sight is generally better for a 5 gigahertz connection. Now you're going to pop your headset on. You're going to go to that settings panel. You're going to go up to the top right and click the settings cog wheel for more settings. You'll scroll down to experimental features and there you can turn on AirLink. Now that's turned on, you're going to go back to the original settings panel and you are going to click AirLink. There it should find your PC and you're going to pair it with that PC. Once that's paired, you'll hit launch and then you are in Oculus Home. From here, you can play your Oculus PC VR games or go down and access your desktop where you can launch your PC VR games from wherever, including Steam VR. Now, not everyone can do this because maybe you're still living with parents or roommates and you don't have that kind of control over your home network. So instead we have Oculus Link. This is a tethered connection, so you're going to actually be playing with a wire connected from your PC to your headset. And setting this up is much easier. All you have to do is make sure that the Oculus program on your PC is running and then connect that USB cable from your PC to your headset. And again, this cable is going to need to be pretty long for you to comfortably play VR. You can use Oculus's official link cable, which I use, or you can use another supported cable. Again, I'll have links to those in the description below. Once that cable is connected and your Oculus program is running on your PC, you're going to pop on the headset. Make sure that you have AirLink turned off. This is the only way it's going to default back to Oculus Link. With that set up, you should see that you are able to link to your computer via Oculus Link. Once you do that, you're going to get some prompts to allow USB debugging and tell your headset that you trust this PC. Once you do that, you're back in Oculus Home just like we were in AirLink. Now, what are some benefits and drawbacks of both? In AirLink, like I said before, you might not have the full control of your home network to have this particular setup 
to make sure it runs smoothly. Also with Airlink, you're restricted by your Quest's battery life. Sure, you can plug in some external batteries, but ultimately your time is limited in VR this way. But on the other hand, you do have wireless VR. And in my opinion, wireless VR is the most immersive way to experience virtual reality. But if you can't make that happen, Oculus Link is still great. I still use Oculus Link a lot when I know I'm gonna be playing a VR game for a long time sitting down. So I know I don't have to wrestle with that cable a bunch. You're also going to get a more consistent and stronger connection with your PC because it's wired. And if you're using the correct USB port and cable, you're going to be feeding power into your headset, basically allowing you to play as long as you like. Well, that should be all you need to get started playing PC VR with your Quest or Quest 2. If you have any questions, please let me know in the comments below. And remember, if you're getting any value out of this video, Think about giving me a thumbs up and think about subscribing and clicking the bell notification so I can continue to help you have more fun in VR. Thanks a lot for watching and I'll see you next time.